What are you looking at? Is this reality? Or is it a memory? A dream? Or is it simply... Cinema? Michael Haneke challenges our perception of cinema in cachet. The film starts on this wide, static long shot. We think we are looking at reality, a moment happening in real time. But then he does this. It is revealed that the shot is not reality, but a recorded video of George and Anne's home. They are being stalked and surveilled by a mysterious person who is leaving videotapes at their front door of long, static shots of their home, like this one. We can no longer trust the director and moving forward, we will question every static long shot. Is this real? Or this? The film employs realistic conventions like deep focus so that the audience will equate the film with reality. The world mirrors our own. He then takes it even further when he uses those same documentary conventions to convey George's dreams and memories. What is cinema but looking into another world? A character's dreams, memories, but he goes even further to challenge the ontology of cinema. Haneke equates cinema with voyeurism. Voyeurism is a term that specifies a conduct of someone who is engrossed in prying on the personal affairs and lifestyles of other individuals. Voyeurism has deep roots in cinema, but most often we see the voyeur and we are never misled by the perspective of voyeurism. These films consist of plots and themes that are about the physical watching of others. I think he's been recording my telephone. We are seeing things through their eyes, through their lens. We understand their motives. But in cachet, we do not know who the voyeur is. Instead, our perspective is through George. We see his memories, his dreams. We begin to empathize with him, but we cannot look away, and we are engrossed by his secrets. It's different being watched and watching. Cachet puts you on the other side of voyeurism, which creates empathy and comments on the darker side of voyeurism. You cannot empathize with the voyeur in this case. We are constantly questioning who is the voyeur, and why are they doing this to him? Ultimately, the identity of the stalker is left ambiguous. The truth is there if you can see it, much like reality. Haneke does this to challenge the connection between cinema and voyeurism. He is asking, who is the real voyeur here? Is it Haneke? Or is it us, the audience? <laughs>